if you're doing naive bays and you're going to use it to build a custom model for say a client or your own brand so that they can use it um, and by the way that is important right because for some brands a certain word might be a positive emotion word and for others it might be negative a lot of times naive bays is used to try to get at whether something was positive in emotion or negative in emotion so they call that sentiment analysis uh, and naive bays is a common way to do sentiment analysis a lot of times brands want to do sentiment analysis they can say okay there were 4,000 tweets about our brand today and you know 40% of them were negative that would be bad right that's a lot you would use something like the Python natural language toolkit uh, you would not use Excel to do something like this there's also natural language processing tools and naive bays tools in R there's also programs out there the one that I'm familiar with is called WordStat it's about four thousand dollars though so that's about that's pretty prohibitive but WordStat's great because you can have your text and it's just you know point and click no programming no syntax involved so right out of the box you can do naive bays so we're gonna go over to Excel and these data are from the book publishers website and you can see here that we have two tabs down at the bottom about Mandrel app and about other and you can see that the ones that are about Mandrel are texts that have been pre-coded so some person actually went through these texts and said okay this one is definitely about MailChimp they did this manually and they did it for right 150 separate tweets and then we have the same over here about other so these are texts these are tweets that have the word mandrel in them but they are not about the app mandrel and again these were hand coded human beings went through manually and said these were uh, not about mandrel that's how a training set of texts would be created for your naive Bayes algorithm so one of the first steps when you're doing naive Bayes or doing any type of a lot of times uh, statistics or analysis with texts is you have to clean up the text so you want to get rid of things that you're not really interested in so one I'm gonna press show excuse me where is it there it is I'm gonna press show formulas so you can see exactly what's written here in the formulas so you can see in column B we're going to take everything in a tweet in the tweet and we're going to lowercase it in column C this is the substitute function so we'll take everything in B2 we'll take everything there and we'll find periods and if there's a period this function is saying substitute the period with a space alright and then we go through and we do that we substitute colons with spaces question marks with spaces etc so we have uh, columns exclamation points semicolons all removed so I'm gonna hide the functions I'm going to select all of these functions and I'm gonna send it down the rows and then I'm gonna go over to the other page and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna copy and paste those formulas right here and zoom in so you can see it better and you can see it's made everything lower over here in column H just the same as we did on the other tab it's made everything lowercase and gotten rid of all the punctuation except of course we didn't get rid of upside down question marks because that wasn't something that we were expecting that's just gonna be a little bit of noise in our model so again we'll select that row except for column A and I will send those formulas down the rows